Welcome back. I'm Bernard Ma, author of over 20 best-selling books on future trends, including generative AI in practice and AI strategy. Today, we're exploring two transformative types of artificial intelligence, generative AI and agentic AI. While they are often confused, understanding their differences is crucial for any business leader planning their AI strategy. Let's start with generative AI, the technology behind ChatGPT and Midjourney and similar tools. Think of generative AI as a highly sophisticated creative assistant. It can generate text, images, code or music based on your prompts. It's reactive, waiting for your input before creating something new. Agentic AI, on the other hand, is more like a proactive colleague. These systems can set their own goals, make autonomous decisions, and take actions without constant human guidance. While generative AI responds to requests, agentic AI initiates actions to achieve objectives. Here's a practical example. A generative AI system might write an email when you ask it to. An agentic AI system might monitor your calendar, notice that you're running late for a meeting and automatically draft and send an apology to attendees, all without being prompted. The implications are fascinating. A retail company I advised uses generative AI to create product descriptions and marketing content but they're now experimenting with agentic AI that autonomously monitors inventory levels, predicts demand, and adjusts pricing in real time. The key difference lies in autonomy. Generative AI is like a powerful tool waiting to be used. Agentic AI is more like a digital employee that can take initiative. This brings both opportunities and challenges. Consider the safety aspects. With generative AI, you're mostly concerned about the quality and appropriateness of its outputs. With agentic AI, you need to think about the boundaries of its decision-making authority and how to ensure it acts within acceptable constraints. This leads to different implementation strategies. When deploying generative AI, organizations focus on prompt engineering and output quality. With agentic AI, they need to carefully define objectives, constraints and oversight mechanisms. Looking ahead, we are seeing interesting hybrid approaches. Some systems use generative capabilities within an agentic framework. Imagine an AI agent that can both make decisions and generate content to execute those decisions. Here's what forward-thinking organizations are doing. They're using generative AI for immediate creative and analytical tasks. They are carefully experimenting with agentic AI in controlled environments. They're developing governance frameworks that account for both types and they're training teams to work effectively with each technology. The future likely involves both types working together. A financial services firm I work with uses generative AI for customer communication and reporting, while agentic AI monitors transactions for fraud and makes real-time security decisions. Remember, neither type is inherently better. They serve different purposes and come with different considerations. Understanding these differences is key to leveraging them effectively. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more updates on future trends. See you in my next video.